we're going to show you three easy food truck inspired recipes so while you watch this short interview with Irene from Maymay's food truck I'm going to go prep for our Maymay inspired mac and cheese so I'll see you in a little bit hey, hey what's up guys? Yeah, how are you? pretty great I'm ready to eat though awesome. you know? Hi everyone, this is Mei Mei and these guys always come to BU. They're a Boston food truck and they're competing, competing for Boston. So, hi there, I'm Brad, nice to meet you. My name is Irene, I'm the baby sister at Mei Mei Street Kitchen. Mei Mei means little sister in Chinese, oh, so cute. my sister and I work with our older brother, forced him to name the truck after us. Awesome. And we're at BU every Thursday from 11 to 2.45 okay. serving lunch outside That's of great. Course Auditorium. So what's your inspiration for all of this food truck, the whole idea of Mei Mei? Well, our inspiration is to use local food to make the Chinese food and some of the American food that we loved growing up. Okay. This okay. is a macaroni and beer cheese. It has a local beer in it from Night Shift Brewing in Everett. And uh, we loved mac and cheese growing up. We didn't put beer in it, but it's in there now. I had some for breakfast, and I can say it's a good choice. Best First hangover, in the best hangover breakfast. Exactly, I'm guessing, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So why do you think you would win this competition? What makes you stand out? Well, we're really excited because we think our food is unique. We basically invented almost everything that's on our menu. Last time we were on the Greenway, we did uh, the spring dish competition. Okay. We'd only been open for four weeks, and we won. So we were thrilled. High five. Thank high five. you. It was great to meet you. Great Thank to you meet so you much. Thanks hope so you're the much, best, guys. and hope you guys win. All right, we'll hope to we see you at BU. You. Thank you. Bye. So I know what you're thinking. It looks delicious. But don't worry, I have a recipe just for you. It's going to be a glammed up mac and cheese and it's going to be carbonara inspired. So with just a few ingredients, we can make this simple instant mac and cheese creamier and tastier. Okay, here's the mac and cheese carbonara recipe. Here's what you'll need. A box of microwavable mac and cheese, an egg, garlic, parmesan cheese, bacon, and to garnish, fresh parsley and cherry tomatoes. And here's how you make it. Peel the garlic and crush the bulb with the back of your knife. Chop it and keep it to one side. Place a paper towel on a plate and arrange bacon slices on it. Place the chopped garlic on top of the slices and make sure the garlic is touching the bacon because the fat from the bacon will cook the garlic. Lightly beat the egg in a bowl and set it to one side. Now turn to your bacon and microwave it for two minutes. So now make your mac and cheese according to the package instructions. And as soon as you take it out of your microwave, mix the egg into the mac and cheese as fast as possible because the heat from the mac and cheese will cook the egg. Add the bacon and parsley and Parmesan cheese. And to top it off, add the cherry tomatoes and parsley. So here's your mac and cheese. Looks pretty good. Yeah, try it. Oh, thank you. No, wait, are you gonna give me a bite? Nope. So Mike just took my mac and cheese, and I'm still starving. So let's see what's in the fridge. Let's see. There we go. Waffles and Dingus representing New York. Yes. And so are you guys excited for this competition? We're extremely excited. That's awesome. We woke up at around midnight, uh -huh. got the truck ready, drove through the night, showed up here at around 7.30. Can't, can't get enough. So what have you guys prepared for us today? What's the most exciting dish for the whole competition? Well, we like to 
say that all of our waffles are the most exciting dish for the competition, but he did something, a little spin on our throwdown waffle, which is the waffle that we used to beat Bobby Flay in a throwdown against him on the Food Network. Oh. It's called the double throwdown. Yeah. It's our famous speculoo spread, which is a gingerbread cookie spread. It has banana, homemade speculoos ice cream, which is made by the pastry chef from John George restaurant. It also has whipped cream on it, which is cream that has been whipped. It's fantastic. <laughs> that just makes it better. It makes it better. That's great. How do you feel like what sets you off from the other New York restaurant? How do you feel about that? Well, I think we put, we put a lot of pride, energy, and effort into our team. And, excuse me, and our product. And with the combination of those two things, a little bit of love, some unicorns, tears, and children's <laughs> laughter mixed in, you get an awesome Waffles and Dingus experience. That's amazing. I can't wait to try them all. Yeah. And you guys should try them all. It's great food at a great price, served at a great pace. No? With unicorn tears and all that stuff. Yeah, it's great. That's amazing. Cool. Cool. Well, nice talking to you. You too, sir. Thanks so much, guys. No problem. Cool. The waffle sandwich. You will need four waffles. Eggo is great. Dijon mustard, as much as you need. Six slices of ham. Six slices of cheddar. And four tablespoons of unsalted butter. And this is how you make it. Place four of the waffles on a work surface. Spread one side of each with the mustard. Top with two slices of ham and two slices of cheese and repeat until you've used all your waffles. Spread some butter on top of your sandwich. Melt the remaining butter in a large nonstick pan over medium heat. Place the sandwich in the pan, buttered side up, then cook. Press it occasionally with the back of the spatula until the cheese melts and the waffles are beautiful and golden. Okay, so I'm not going to be full for long, but luckily I found inspiration from another food truck that we interviewed today. They're from New York, they're called Waffles and Dingas, and they work from the best chefs in the industry. John George makes their ice cream, but you know, I don't have a three Michelin star restaurant helping me, but I do have Ego to help you make this wonderful chocolate bread pudding. So you will need two Eggo waffles, an egg, half a cup of milk, some butter, sugar, chocolate chips, and to dress it up, chocolate sauce, whipped cream, and strawberries. And here's how you make it. Place two teaspoons of sugar and butter in a microwave safe bowl. Heat this at a high level in the microwave for three minutes. The sugar should caramelize. If not, put it in for another 30 seconds. In a separate bowl, lightly beat the egg, mix in the milk and two teaspoons of sugar. And in another bowl, break up the waffles and add some chocolate chips as much as you desire. Now pour the egg and milk mixture and sprinkle some sugar on top. Place this in a microwave and heat it for four minutes on a low power. Now to garnish, Top with sliced strawberries and drizzle with chocolate sauce. Add a layer of whipped cream and sprinkle some more chocolate chips on it. And there you go. <laughs> a sweet ending to your meal. Hi guys, I'm Barat and this is Emily Fan. She's a sophomore at BU and she's a campus ambassador for Pop Chips. So Emily, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? Pretty good, as usual, you know. So what is Pop Chips? Um, Pop Chips never fried and never cooked. Um, it just um, uses natural ingredients. Um, it's healthy and delicious. Wow, so if it's not fried and cooked or baked, how do you make Pop Chips? Do you pop Pop Chips? Yeah, it's like that. We just add a little um, heat and pressure and then pop it. So that makes it different from other brand of chips. Cool. So you guys like use like all the natural ways of making it. Yeah, it's all thing. natural ingredients. Wow, that's like pure natural goodness right yeah. there. Huh? Wow. So what flavors do you have for all chips? Um, we have sweet potatoes, barbecue, original, and natural cheese tortilla. That's a wide array of flavors. 
your favorite? My favorite was this week. So where can I buy these small shirts? Um, you can buy them. Guys, as she said, the campus and bathroom are pop trips, you know, you can find them at CVS, Walgreens and everywhere. And all that stuff, you know, you just said that it's just making my stomach grumble, grumble so much. I feel like I might have to leave soon and, you know, kind of get some of the awesome, you know. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed our episode today. All that cat's cooking, carbonara mac and cheese, food truck specials, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.